good afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me. And welcome to the Magic Kingdom and welcome to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I've been looking forward to this since I booked it a couple of months back. And would you believe I uh, managed to catch a man flu yesterday, so uh, feeling somewhat rough. So it's now just coming up to four o'clock. My plan was to go into the park early today and enjoy it. As you can see, as always, actually, I look like death. But hey, never mind. So I'm going to go and register and then we'll explore. The party officially starts at 7 p.m. and closes for day guests at 6. I believe there's an hour where the rides close, but um, I might be wrong with that. It's very cold today, it's about 13, 14 degrees Celsius. And it might rain, so I've got my umbrella. So, I'll catch you inside. Right down there, everybody else is going to go right down that center aisle, center fire, one at a time, strollers to the left, everybody else down the center. Thank you. If you are carrying an umbrella, you will get pulled out and have your bag searched. I actually carried it in my hand, hoping that um, I could get, get away without getting searched, but it didn't happen. <laughs> It is very busy and because I've got a day ticket, I'm going to be going in under my day ticket and I'll collect my wristband in the park. Technology. Sorry about that, sometimes it's great, sometimes it makes you feel things. Yeah. Is it going to work? Should. Make sure your fingers are all the way forward. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but yeah, no, it no. makes a difference. There we go. Yeah, Excellent. Thank you. So I'm going to head in and get my wristband. I was advised to go towards Pirates, collect it from there. You can collect it from Pirates, uh, near Pirates of the Caribbean ride, somewhere in Tomorrowland, and I can't remember where the other place was. So we'll go do that first. You can tell uh, people are leaving, certainly quiet down Main Street. Well, relatively quiet. So for the Christmas party, you do have a special fireworks show and a special Christmas parade, which we will try and catch later. You get uh, free cookies. I think you've got a choice then of apple, uh, apple juice, apple cider, eggnog and uh, cocoa. I think that's all you get free with this ticket. But once I've checked in and got my wristband, I'll let you know if there's anything else. So it took about 10 minutes to queue up. It's uh, just there, which is opposite. Pirates, you get a wristband, a map. And a little, um, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to use the toilet and then we'll see if we can get on some rides. So Big Thunder's just showing a 10 minute wait. So uh, as I'm not far away, I'm going to ride it.
It's a little rough. It's a little chilly out here as well. Gone to the toilet first. Word of warning when it pulls into the station, hold on. Ooh, what's here? Because it does. Uh, oh, is this where we blew up that thing? Is this where it we does come to a stop thing? quite sharp. <laughs> what about the dynamite thing? Where's the dynamite thing? You never know who you'll bump into when you're walking around. Don't ask me their names though. I think one's called Big Al, is he? I don't know. No trip to Magic Kingdom would be complete without the people mover. Hopefully it won't break down. If you've seen my other videos, there are four rides on here. Broke down three on three of them. I'm knackered already. I've only walked around the park once. Maybe that's the sign of things to come tonight. I think it's time for a cup of coffee just to wake me up a little bit. So I've got my coffee, got it from Cosmic Rays, uh, everywhere else was busy. I'm going to uh, enjoy my coffee and uh, just uh, study the map, uh, see what's going on, see what we can get for free tonight. Um, once I understand what's going on, I'll let you know. So I just had a quick look at the map. Um, so one or two of the rides has got a Christmas overlay. Jingle uh, Cruise has been running, I think, for a couple of weeks with a Christmas overlay. Tomorrow Speedway, which is just behind where I'm sat, uh, Mad Hatter Tea Party, uh, Monsters Inc., and, and Space Mountain all got Christmas overlays. We'll try and have a look at them a little later if we can get on. Um, in terms of free stuff, it just says beverages and cookies uh, around the park, so uh, again, we'll try that a bit later. 
Um, there is some special party merchandise for sale as well, and there's some special party food for sale. So uh, we'll probably have a look later, um, hopefully grab a bite to eat and we'll see what's on offer. Other than that, we'll uh, take in the parade. It's on twice tonight. I think it was 8 or 8.30 and 11. And then you've got the um, fireworks. Well, actually, the fireworks was at 11, I think. Uh, so the parade must be 11.30. Anyway, not to worry on the details. If you do come, just make sure you do get one of these maps. It's got everything you need to know. So I'm going to go on Tomorrowland Speedway, show in five minutes, and we can have a look at the uh, Christmas decorations as we go around the circuit. Good to see the steering wheel on the correct side. The steering wheels on this are pretty pointless. It doesn't go where you want. Supposed to be holiday decorations somewhere around this uh, circuit. I'm guessing they haven't switched them on. It actually took me about half an hour to queue and ride that ride. Rather disappointing. I wanted to see some decorations. Anyway, never mind. Um, it is nearly ten past six, which means the park is now closed for day guests. At the moment, all rides on the app show as closed, uh, so I can't get wait times. Uh, I do. Had, um, I have managed to join the queue or the virtual queue for Tron. Um, so hopefully, we'll get to do that. Um, I have got my chest harness, so hopefully I can take my camera on, um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, I'm just going to have a bit of a wander around, I think. Uh, just walking past Aladdin's carpet. It's almost a walk-on, so why not? Ooh, fireworks. Aladdin's magic carpet. Now, if you're running a little low on magic wishes and you want to make your... And we're off. You got a little uh... Wee all oh, down my leg. So just to give you an idea of wait times, it's just coming up to half past six. So Aladdin, I literally walk straight on. Pirates, I'm just walking past now, is a 10 minute wait. Um, I'm just gonna have a wander around the park. Um, I wanna get my steps in. And we'll see sort of where everything is as we go around. So as you walk around, there are uh, cast members about just checking your wristband because the park is closed today, guests. So just bear that in mind. If you're at a party, leave your wristband on. Mickey and the gang will host Mickey's very merry Christmas party. 
party. Tonight's event is sold out, and we do not have any more tickets available. If you would like to purchase tickets for a future Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party event night, you may do so at guest relations at City Hall in Town Square. Just heading to Big Thunder. Just seeing what the wait time is on that. It's my favourite ride, so if it's not long, I'll jump on it. I won't film it because, well, I filmed it already today. Well, that answers that. It's closed. I don't know whether that's just uh, for the changeover from day guest to party or whether it's down, but I'll come back later. Certainly is quiet back here, but there's not many rides. Now Splash Mountain's closed for refurbishments. Well, change of... Uh, there's a change to Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I think it's going to be called. Um, yeah, there's only big thunder down here, so there's not much happening. Haunted Mansion's showing 25 minutes, so uh, we'll give it a go. Hopefully it won't break down like when I was on it the other day. So there are no lightning lanes for parties. They're all closed, so it's all standby. Your ghost host. <laughs> our tour begins here in this gallery. Here where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. Kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Now, everybody, please take two big steps away from the walls and towards the dead center of the room. Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Oh, I'm scared. So anywhere you see these uh, white and red striped I get a bit closer just in case it doesn't. Um, inflatables. That's where you get your free uh, cocoa, cookies, eggnog, or whatever they're offering this time. There is a bit of a queue for that. On a horsey. I don't know what we'll call him. A bench seat in as well if you want to ride but don't want to get on one. Not bed, not I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town and we're off. It's not exactly the Grand National, but hey, pear tree. Have a go on Winnie the Pooh. 20 minutes.
feel honey. Skin honey. long lines to meet the characters. I'm going to head round and do uh, Dumbo and uh, the Barnstorm. They're both showing five minute waits. So I might as well do them. I'm not far away. And then I think about getting some uh, hot chocolate cookies and uh, I think the parade, my memory serves me, starts in about half an hour. So I'll probably make my way over towards Frontierland. Hopefully there'll be a bit more space over there. Um, if I'm correct that it starts at 8.30, my memory is, well, I'm getting old, as I'm sure you know. Oh, just walking past um, Speedway, and they finally put the Christmas lights on. Bear me a second, and I will show you. So maybe we'll do that a little bit later if there's not much of a queue. So I'm going to do Barnstormer first, it's just a little kiddie coaster. I did film it the other day, so I'm not going to film this, plus I'm trying to conserve my batteries, because I'm going to need them for the parade and for the fireworks show later. So I'm going to ride Dumbo. It's pretty much the same as Aladdin's carpet, but, you know, I'm here, why not? It's cold tonight, riding... Um, Barnstormer. God, do you really feel it? Jumbo! No, we're not ready to go. He lied to me. Come on, Dumbo. Yay. Oh, pop and away! Like the other one, it's got a little lever. Doesn't seem doesn't seem to work, but yeah, I got a broken one. Oh well, never mind. I don't like heights anyway. Combo. Chocolate, cold. Yo, yeah, oh, what fun it is to ride no one horse open sleigh. Not in this weather, it's not. At least there's no queue now. 
I'm not going to dance. Welcome, my friend. Both sides are open. Oh, something Thank you very much. Thank you. It's only sort of quarter of a cup of hot chocolate and a little cookie. We'll get some more later. And it's a red velvet chocolate cookie thing. Very sweet, but nice.
Peter Pan. So they put pixie dust on it so it flies. Italian beef tots or something it's called, it was about $12. I think it's a special festive item, so only available at parties, I think. It smells nice anyway. was lovely that beef, uh, tater tots were okay, but it was all warm, just a bit spicy, I wasn't expecting it. Anyway, I've got a choice to make, fireworks start in five minutes, or ride seven dwarfs, which has got about half, 35 minute wait, thinking I'm going to do seven dwarfs, because I'm not going to be able to get space, and I hurt my back and legs standing for the parade, so... I think that's the best thing. Oh, there's fireworks show. taken less than 15 minutes to queue. faster than I remember. Maybe it's because I'm concentrating on filming. But at least we did manage to get some of the uh, fireworks in there. Um, time for another hot chocolate, I think. 
And I've got my cocoa, and uh, she gave me two cookies. Red velvet cake cookie. Hmm. So before I came to this party, I had uh, seen other YouTubers and things that said that you get a choice of three drinks. Hot chocolate, eggnog, or I think it was apple cider. Um, but, I mean, I've only been off, well, not even offered, just given hot chocolate. So, whether it's at different locations or whether it's because it's cold, they're not doing the colder ones, I don't know. But, yeah, so there you go. I should be uh, called to Tron soon, my boarding group. I'm 224 and they're boarding up to 220 at the moment. So I've prioritised tonight about doing some of the rides, obviously enjoying the atmosphere, things like Tron and um, uh, Seven Dwarfs that I've not been able to get on. I've only got one more day here. Um, I'm back in this park tomorrow, but I want, oh, excuse me, I probably won't get on them. And then I'm heading back to the UK. So I've not done the character meet and greets um, and lots of other things that there are here to do. Now, in terms of cost, these nights are expensive and it depends what nights you choose. Anything up to about $199. Now, I paid... I will put the exact amount on the screen if I can find the original email. I think I paid around £150, just under. Um, I bought it about two months before I came out here. Uh, like I said, I will put the exact amount on the screen if I can find the original email with it on. But yeah, roughly £150. I'm hoping to do Space Mountain as well, as they've got a Christmas overlay on and it's only on for the party nights. Um, I'm going to use the facilities and then uh, I'll see how long the queue is. So Space Mountain showing 20 minute wait. I'm going to jump on there. You're not allowed anything loose on the ride, so you're not allowed to hold your phones or anything. I do have my chest harness, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to put the GoPro on there. I'm not actually sure how or what they've got in there in terms of what will come out on camera, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we'll be back.
Championship performance and victory for seats at the rear of the train just because I wanted to film it'll be the one time I'm on it um, and I was worried if I laid down in the motorcycle that I wouldn't be able to angle the camera up enough so uh, hopefully that's all come out okay in just under an hour I'm going to try and ride two more rides I want to get on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train again not going to film it and uh, no, 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 Big Thunder and that will probably be the day done oh 
like I said earlier, probably not made the most of the treats and the character meats, but managed to get on Tron. Did um, Space Mountain, hopefully that's come out. Uh, they had a Christmas overlay, so basically you just got some lights in there so you can see some uh, Christmas music as well. So I'm going to head over to uh, Seven Dwarfs. It's 25 past 11. It's very quiet. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when a new video gets uploaded. I would just like to apologise if there's any issues, issues with the audio. I have ordered a new microphone, but I'm going to have to order a new camera as well because this one just keeps playing me up. So I do apologise. The Haunted Mansion is a 13 minute wait, which means it's a walk on. 13 been spooky and all that, or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Oh, Santa Claus. That would explain why it's so quiet as the parade's just finishing, or second parade. Hoping to get on Big Thunder, and that probably be my lot then. A Big Thunder wash show in 10 minutes. Um, hoping it's a walk on. So the park closes in about 15 minutes time. So I'm making my way out. Hopefully I've got time to pop into the Emporium. I tried having a look earlier, just far too busy, couldn't move. It has been a good night. Would I recommend it to people? Well, it's a lot of money. Um, crowds are smaller. Yeah, so I don't know is the answer. I'm glad I've done it. I'm not sure I would do it again. On my own, anyway. If I came with someone and they wanted to experience it, it might be different. Ooh, hot chocolate. It'd be rude not to have one on the way out, wouldn't it? And I've come the wrong way round. Trust me. Let's see what we get offered here. I was chatting to someone, they said different places do offer different drinks. Looks like eggnog, so we'll give it a try. I'll give it a try, why not? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care, thank you. Oh, after you. So different cookie and eggnog. Never had eggnog, so let's see. I'll try not to vomit. Hmm. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, if you've never had it, I don't really know how to describe it. Similar to a melted milkshake, maybe. It's nice. I'm not sure I could drink loads of it.
City of Holidays, friends, in just a few minutes, the Magic Kingdom proudly presents Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. In order for you to fully experience tonight's presentation, the lighting around Cinderella Castle will be reduced. I think I'm going to head out. Safety and for that of others, we ask that I still feel like crap. Same location until the lighting returns to normal. Thank you. And with any luck, I can get a bus without having to wait. So I tried having a look around the Emporium, but uh, no one will move. They just stand right in the way, uh, chatting on their phone or what have you. People just need to think about other people. So yeah, I'm going to head out, it's, well, the park shuts in seven minutes. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.